Hi and welcome. Out here today throwing a set of plugs at the old war horse and I figured I'd pass along a little tech tip that might uh, save you some grief down the road. A lot of these cars with hemispherical heads, in fact not just cars, but the old Harley Davidson here, same thing. It's got hemi heads and very deeply recessed spark plugs. And that can be a problem when you go to change plugs. The problem is that after a couple of seasons running down the road, you get a big buildup of sand all around the spark plug holes. And even though uh, these boots are supposed to seal everything out, I can look down in that hole, which is somewhere around four or five inches deep, and there's sand down in there. If you just go and pull the spark plugs out, all of that sand's going to end up down in your inside the cylinder. Going to chew up your cylinder. It's going to chew up your rings, and it's just going to lead to a whole lot of premature wear in the engine. So before you pull the boot out, I take an air nozzle with a long extension on it, like this one. I get down in here. Blow as much of that sand out of there as you can. Then I take the boot out and I go down in the hole. And where safety glass is doing this, by the way, that sand comes out of there with enough velocity to do some serious damage. In fact, if you were to hold your hand over the hole and blow the air in there, the sand that comes out hurts. I mean, it hurts. It's just like a sandblaster. If you've ever worked with a sandblaster and watched it tear metal off, Imagine what it'll do to your eyes. And I just saw a big chunk of sand come out. A, a stone, actually. Then I'll go in there with the socket, and I'll break the plug loose, and make about one turn, and I'll blow it out again, because a lot of times the sand gets caught right at the seat. Turning the plug will break that sand loose, and you can blow it out of there then you can safely take your plug out. That's it, just a quick tech tip. I know it's not radio related, but it might save somebody some grief. I'm the Radio Mechanic, thanks for watching.